In this hard construction project, revetment is used as a low-cost solution for coastal erosion defense in areas where pressing waves may otherwise break the coastline. Wooden revetments are made of planks laid against wooden frames. The use of wooden revetments has largely been replaced by modern concrete-based defense structures such as tetrapods. For this project, precast concrete tetrapod is used. Tetrapod is a type of structure in coastal engineering used to prevent erosion caused by weather and longshore drift, primarily to enforce coastal structures such as seawalls and breakwaters. The shape is designed to dissipate the force of incoming waves by allowing water to flow around rather than against it and to reduce displacement by allowing a random distribution of tetrapods to maturely interlock. So how do they work? The tetrapods are designed in such a specific way due to their weight and design it remains stable even under most extreme weather conditions. A number of tetrapods arranged together form an interlocking porous barrier that dissipates the power of waves and currents. The first impacts are even tetrapods or any other form of concrete blocks tend to become dislodged over a period of time due to the forces of nature constantly crashing against them. Thus, all the concrete structures are replaced after some point of time. Secondly, no structural design or concrete structures used in brick waters can last forever. And lastly, tetrapods are generally monitored through satellite photography for any kind of displacement of change in structural form. The disadvantages of tetrapods are 1. Because of their shape 2. It can actually accelerate beach erosion 3. It spawns the natural coastal scenery and lastly, wave action pulls the sand away faster than natural process. These are the problems during design and construction process. There are practical limits to the size and mass of armor rock that can be carried due to the inherent geological joints and therefore, precast concrete units are used when a greater armor unit mass is required. To add, during the northern monsoon, the wave is higher than the breakwater. And this situation makes the construction becomes harder. After an initial of 8 months of delay due to objections from an adjacent which thought the breakwater was relocated and realigned again.